guys welcome back to another hair tutorial diy um today we're going to be dyeing this blonde unit lace frontal orange um this is actually going to be my birthday hair so i'm really taking a risk to see how the color turns out this is my first time dyeing this actual color so i didn't know which colors to get but i actually got two of the 38 adore semi-permanent hair colors from my local beauty supply store and um just get two because this unit is actually 24 inches so you're gonna need about three bottles for this long unit and i also got by the brand kiss um ginger so i have here my bucket of hot water and we're gonna just add the colors and attempt to see what color orange this hair actually turns out i'm actually going for a bright orange like a doja cat orange but if it doesn't turn out that color then it's okay but let's just see how it turns out by the way for those who are wondering um this hair is actually from my hairline um, you can shop at Bossette Hair Extensions on Instagram. Um, the site is currently down at the moment, but you can still make orders. Um, we do ship across the U.S. And this is our 613 Body Wave 24 inch lace frontal wig, um, 150 density. So if you'd like to purchase, you can go on our Instagram or comment below and I'll share all the information so that you can shop with us. And you also want to have um, either you can use a whisk that you can use only for your hair dyeing or a comb is fine um, because it's going to take a lot of mixing. You want to make sure that the dye is not clumped up and it's actually blended in with the water so that it doesn't actually have colors and patches of colors on your hair, especially if it's a 613 hair. So I added both bottles of the Adore and a little bit of the Kiss brand. Mix up everything together and see, as you can see in the water, it looks kind of dark, but it's gonna be bright because these colors are bright, but it looks dark in the water. So I'm just mixing it up together and I'm gonna take my unit and submerge it into the water um, I did go ahead and spray my lace um, with got to be glue spray and you're gonna want to have a comb handy because um, as you can see I'm not submerging the entire wig into the water with the lace I'm eventually gonna do that but for the beginning I'm trying to use the comb to comb the water onto the hair Okay, and make sure you guys have a brush as well so that you can brush through the hair. As you can see, this is a very long length. So the hair has to get into all the strands. Wow, I said the hair. The dye has to get into all the strands of hair um, so that it can take the color on the wig. So I'm just brushing it so that all the dye can get to all those little strands that it didn't take when you submerged it into the water. Because the middle of the wig sometimes doesn't actually get all of the, the dye in the watercolor method. So you can see here that it's starting to look like a, I don't know what color it started to look like, but it kind of looked like a coral color, but it was orange. But some of the hair did not get all of the dye. So I'm going to add more dye to the water so that there can be more color to be placed on the hair. I kind of used the entire bottle, but there was still some left in the bottle. That's why I placed it upside down 
so that I can get more color out. So basically this is just a repetitive step. You're just going to basically do the same thing over and over until you have all the dye out of the bottles and just put the wig back in the water again until the color starts showing up on the blonde hair. Once you keep dipping the wig into the water, you're going to start seeing spots and places where the dye actually didn't take. So you can just continue to just keep dipping those spots without dye back into the water so that it can actually take the dye and start combing it out so it can run through the hair perfectly. This is it baby this is the color i'm going for now you see that coral went away so now it's looking like orange for real but it looks kind of dark because of the lighting y'all don't mind me i'm in the kitchen and my nails are horrible but it's my birthday weekend so i'm getting everything done um yeah so the color is coming out the way i want it and once it dries and it's not wet anymore that bright orange color is gonna pop so what I'm gonna do now is just wash my wig with conditioner and just let it sit and dry. And I'm gonna show you guys the final product of the install and everything, but we are done here. This is a bright orange sunset red orange wig and we are done guys. Thanks for watching.